Hello guys and welcome back to another Tweak Around video. So in this video I'm going to be revealing the Tweaker Man style Cambridge Audio Azure 540p finished. Okay, so first of all we're going to show you the inside of the circuit board, what, what I've done to it. And then following what it looks like and you're going to be quite surprised. So let's get into it. So I've now completely finished the upgrade. You can see these Mallory 150M capacitors fitted in now as well. And I've got two JB JFX premium film caps at the front and the back. And then the other ones here are the Janssen Audio compact MKT capacitors and now we've got the audio note capacitors there okay now in the power supply here we have all the audio note capacitors in there okay so splendid so I'm going to fit this back together and I'll show you what it looks like once it's back together so here we have the Cambridge Audio Azure 540p. What the hell's happened to it? It's had a transformation. Look at the lovely finish on that. It's had a complete transformation. It's had it's had a silent base fitted to it permanently with balsa wood feet. I veneered the front panel and gave it, oh, well, I veneered it with um, walnut and then I give it a slight stripe on it to match the turntable. And then I heavily lacquered it with this piano finish. It's had about a hundred coats of lacquer then the top is a very nice metallic you can't really see it in this light but it sparkles and even the front panel has got a bit of glitter in it so i thought i was so pleased with the way this has come out especially with the mallory capacitors that i fitted in as well and um i thought that um I should really give this as good finish as I could because it matches how good the sound quality is now. This is a truly high-end phono preamp now. Um, this would easily take on anything over a thousand pound with no problem. It's that good. It sounds so good. Um, I shall do a My Thoughts video on it. I'm still breaking them in at the moment, but it is so good. And the finish I've done on it has made it look so classy. So it really matches in with my turntable now. If you look back here, it really is good. The light's a bit poor in this room, but the finish is so lush. And what I did is I blended it in on the side. So if you can see some of the grain sort of fades back on the edges. So I blended the colour in to make it look like a uh, the way a guitar blends in with colours. You can't really see it on the video here as well. But that's what it does in, in situ in person. And um, I'm over the moon with this. Uh, what a finish. What a sound. This has been one of the best upgrades I've done. Uh, well, most of the upgrades I've done have been very good, but this is particularly the finish has come out really nice on this as well. So I thought I'd just show you this for now. Um, hasn't got the cables in there. Because um, I've been tinkering with it a bit. and uh, But I thought I'd just show you this. So uh, I think that's it for the video. Now, I've had the... Uh, the new very quiet switching power supply turn up 
and I'm going to do an unboxing video on that tomorrow. So stay tuned for that, and then that will need time to break in as well. And we'll see how it all comes together. But so far, I'm so happy. So thanks for watching another Tweaker Man video. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give this video a like. Don't forget to press that notification bell so you're notified each time I upload a new video. And thank you for watching, guys.